What's going on everybody? It's Diego with Lit Up Designs. And today we have a repair. And it's on a KDL 46S5100. Uh, uh, manufactured in 2009. Uh, the problem is there's no video. Um, let me set you down here. Da, 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 da. So, I took it apart already. Let me see if I can zoom out back a bit. So we're gonna troubleshoot first. We're gonna troubleshoot first to see what what's going on. Um, one of the ways that I troubleshoot is uh, if I don't have a picture, I want to see if there's any audio. Uh, let me connect this real quick. I hear a click, which is good. Um, there's backlights. The backlights went off. Backlights came back on, uh, which is good. There is a power light down here. There's a power light right there. It's good. Uh, the only thing is, I have nothing. Actually, I, I do have something. Let me let me show you here. Um, this is one of the my troubleshooting ways of troubleshooting. Whoa! I don't know what happened there. Hmm. see here I think I turned it off somehow oh there's the the buttons right here I was wondering what happened I did turn it off well wow. okay um, we're a little restricted on on a uh, space here but uh see this one side has has a screen coming in uh, the other side doesn't um, actually, I'm sorry, this side doesn't, this, this side does. Um, the only thing that I, that really falls under, um, was actually this, the T-Con. I, I took this one off because once I put this in, it goes all black. Um, maybe I guess it's a possible short or signal is not good enough or whatever, for whatever reason. So, I ordered a new one. Well, not new, but I did order a replacement. Um, here it is, and it looks very alike. Uh, there's actually same revision numbers, same model numbers. Um, got it for about $16, $18, and like that. Uh, the next one after that was like $20. So first things first, I'm gonna actually remove the power here. I don't wanna get shocked or whatever. And then push the power button on the bottom to make sure the capacitors are um, discharged. You want to uh, first take out the, the connector slowly. Remove this, these ribbons. Uh, you want to be careful with these ribbons too. Um, they, they will damage and they're kind of impossible to replace. Or on the other side at least. Um, small little screwdriver bit. Slowly. gonna act up on me Up. Let's see if I can get another screwdriver here. Um, I 
I'll be right back with the screwdriver. Oh, actually I have a toolkit here. There we go. Somewhat. <laughs> Whoa. All right, let's change this bit out for a smaller one. And this is kind of the same thing. They're wearing pretty tight. Let's go ahead and do it. Hopefully that's the part that's messed up. And just note that this won't actually fix you know your cracked screen or anything like that. Uh, there are a lot of people out there that think that uh, cracked screen is fixed by this for some odd reason. So many people. So I'm missing one screw here. Here it is. that tight let's connect the power back on hopefully uh we're good oh, actually on oh, my bad forgot to reconnect everything completely forgot to reconnect these ribbons if you see them in uh don't be so harsh uh there's this little flap here that you can use as a push a lever push If this doesn't fix it, uh, most likely then the LCDs are damaged. And not the LCD itself, but the where these ribbons go to, the connectors that go to the LCD are damaged. But let's see if we have a video now. So behold... Not looking good. I'm gonna try to redo this again. I'm plugging the power. And this time I'm only gonna open up the one side that I know was good, which is uh this side. I'm I mean I'm only gonna leave the one side that I know was good. And let's see if it's uh that's a problem or not. So there's a Bravia sign. Hmm. I'm waiting for the, the little purple. There it is, the purple. Alright, I'm gonna see what happens once I plug in this uh this ribbon connector here. Yeah. So I'm gonna see 
If it goes all black, then that means it's probably the LCD itself. Which in turn kind of sucks. Come on. So it goes all black, uh, which points to the LCD. Um, and basically what I'm talking about is in here, um, which I'm going to have to take apart and just see what I can find. But in here, uh, there's probably a short or, you know, water gets in or somehow, some way. But uh, I'll leave that for another video if we can fix it. All right, well, unfortunately, we weren't successful with this one, but at least we know where the cause is coming from. Uh, the same... The same board that we got has the same results. Uh, we know that we, we're getting video on one side, uh, not on the other. So the only thing it points to is to the ribbons here. Um, Alright, well, y'all stick around. Thanks for watching, guys.